Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my eyebrow routine and um, later after this video I will be filming how I apply lashes so that's why I have nothing on my lashes right now. I have to be like super close to the camera so I can tell you guys what we're doing today so you guys can see my brow. Um, so, I wanted to show you guys how I maintain my brows. I have not gotten my brows done in about... I'm thinking five years, maybe six. Um, I you do my own brows, and they're probably not how you're supposed to do them. But I just keep my brows maintained with these two things. I use the Sally Hansen's tweezers. These are so old. The name rubbed off, or I use the Anastasia ones. These are the tweezers I use. I use the Anastasia ones as well, but I can't find those. Those are really little. Those are super sharp, and they're super good. And then when I'm too lazy to tweeze, I do go in with the razor. One of these facial razors, I mean, it's good enough for me, so I just go like that. Like, when I'm too lazy to, like, you know, do anything to my face, I do that. But, you guys are probably wondering how I do my brows. Now, the brushes I like to use is has been this uh, Beauty Junkie Brow Lash, Brow um, Brush. And it's really, really long, and it has a spoolie, as well as my Anastasio one. My Anastasio one is, like, hands down my favorite. This is not it. This is, like, a miniature version of it. I can't find the other one. Um, this is a miniature version. It's the number 7 or the number 12 from Anastasio. Those are fucking great, because they're super skinny. Um, unlike this one, this one's skinny, the it Cosmetics. It's skinny, but it's, like, not as skinny as a... Anastasia one. The other one just gives me such great precision. It like fills in my hair really nicely, but today we'll be using this. And the thing that I'm going to be using, like that I have been using for, I'm not going to do my pomades, which I do love. I mix medium and medium brown, medium and blonde. If I want to do Anastasia, I usually mix medium brown and blonde, and I use a little bit of Duraline to like make it like, you know, more watery, easier to put on. But I have been loving the Too Faced bulletproof brows I feel like I hear nobody talking about this the only downside to this product and there is a downside is that it dries out so fucking quick like you get it a month later it does it, you open it like it's like comes like this you open it up and then it's like seal proof you guys can see how dry it is but that's why Duraline um hello the Duraline really really helps it looks like shit <laughs> But the Duraline really helps like revive it. That's why I love Duraline. It's only 12 bucks. It'll save so many of your products. So I take a drop of Duraline and I put it inside. Oh, it's called Universal Taupe, the color I use. Um, bulletproof bra proof, proof brows. Um, I just use taupe because my hair is blonde and I don't want to use like a dark color because I feel like it just doesn't go. So I take one drop of Duraline. You guys can see how wet it is. And then I take my brush and I just mix it and then it like picks up product and it brings it back to life and I'm able to pick up the product um again so here usually my brows take like no more than three minutes uh because it's so easy the way I just do it I start from the bottom right here then work my way to the tail and then I do the outside and then just color it in and I don't go in I only go up to here with like full-on drawing on the brows I don't put anything here till the end till I'm done like till I'm like okay well I already did the end now it's time to move to the front of my brow and you guys can see there's like little sparse areas right well We'll fix that later, but right now we're gonna do that part. Okay, we're. I'm like, mm, looks good, looks good. Um, I do have like a lot of hair, but there are sparse areas. Like you guys can see right here, there's a like I look bald. So I. Okay, so we fill it in later. But for the front part, I never, ever, ever just go in and like straight up just put like all the paint on. I just. Go like I literally go like that and then I draw one line like that and then I feather that up now I know I don't have those like Instagram brows and like perfect brows but I feel like my furry brows are really <laughs> I like them 
and that's how I do my brow. Literally, it's that easy how my brows just come out. And I will do the next one for you guys just because you guys can see there's like a big old bald spot. And then I don't usually put concealer under my brows just because I feel like that's too much. It's too much work for me. Um, but I do put a little bit of highlight powder. You guys can hear how windy it is. It's so windy in Chicago. Same thing with this one. I only do the outside first. And then we paint on Grabbing a little bit more product because I feel like it's like rubbing off. And you guys can see, you guys can still see my bald spot, so we gonna fix that. Now we're gonna do the... And you don't want to press that hard here because you don't want like a super, um, super defined brow, but I see that I made this one a little bit more defined, so... Okay. You guys see? You guys see my furriness? Okay, now we're going to let our pomade dry a little bit. Um, and make sure you reclose it, like really shut tight. Um, you just take any light powder, literally anything that's like matte. I like matte powders. I don't really like shimmer under my brows just because I feel like a hooker. You know what? I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to take the little... The, br the bronzer palette, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to put that under my brow. Because it's a satin, it's not really shimmer, it's not really um, matte. And then I just go under my brows with it. Just to clean up a little bit. Because I don't like to go in with concealer. I feel like I'm not like a concealer fan. So I usually just do that. Like just clean up a little bit of the mess that I make. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then... I fixed my shadow that I used with a clean brush. I just blend it. And that's what it looks like. Now, the pencil that I love, absolutely love, is really, really inexpensive. It's the um, NYX brow pencil. It's called the Micro Brow Pencil. And I use either taupe or I use ash brown. Today we're going to use ash brown so you guys can see it like pick up and like cover the little sparse area we have. This comes with the spoolie as well as like a really thin pencil. That's why I love it because it's so, 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 so thin. So you guys will see how easily it just like draws in your hairs. And I don't press that hard because I don't want really dark brows. But um... I do like to round out my brow a little bit at the end. You guys can see I was just like drawing them. And then we just go like this. And sometimes I use my finger to like round it out. And then we do the same thing to the other side just so it's like the same darkness on each side. And I feel like this brow is like being a bad boy and then we just brush through all our brows and make sure we have like the the sparse areas we want covered and then the last step I always need to do because I never want to be without this like I have so many backups of this this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is like sheer super glue for them brows. This is another thing you guys need for that chill, um, Netflix and chill. So I just go ahead and this this is the last step I do. Like right after lipstick, after powder, just because I feel like anything from the powder from your face and the bronzer that gets stuck to your brows, um, it like picks it up and takes it off and it just sets your brows so good. So I feel like this is like a must have, even if you buy like a cheaper version, just a clear gel will do the trick, girl. And those are my brows. I mean, I don't do nothing special to them. That's all I do. Um, if I do want to like lighten them up, I will just go in with blonde, but that is pretty much my brows. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was like easy because I don't, I don't like when like, 
I, I mean, I, I feel for like myself, I don't like that Instagram brow. I feel like it doesn't look right on me. I look too fake. But like this bushy eyebrow that I have, I feel like it works. <laughs> um, and I hope it worked for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys are wondering what's on my lips. It's the NYX Lingerie. I'm still giving them a try. I told you guys on Instagram, I do not like them. And you guys can see how dry they are. Like they just grab every single wrinkle in my lip, which I do not like, but... I'm gonna go buy more just to see if the formula and the other ones are better or if the whole line is kind of shitty. So, <laughs> if you guys like these eyebrows, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>